At the last general election almost three years ago, the Liberal Democrats came a close second to the Conservatives in Winchester, losing out by just 985 votes. With a third Prime Minister in just a few months recently appointed, could Winchester be changing parties once again? This interview was recorded while the Conservative leadership election was still ongoing. You know, this campaign is completely different to anything we've had before. Now, we've got a Conservative party that's once again focusing on their own leadership elections. They're taking people for granted. They're, they're not in touch with the struggles that normal people have. The Conservative Member of Parliament for Winchester, Steve Brime, spoke to us about his work in the Winchester constituency. Nobody owns Winchester. I treat my job the same with a 1,000 majority as I did with a 10,000 or even 17,000 majority in the past. I continue to be the MP here because I work hard, do my job and local people support me. I will do so so long as that remains the case. While the Conservatives are in power in Westminster, they are in opposition on Winchester City Council. But I think fundamentally we're still the same party. Uh, there are obviously different characters uh, in charge, different members of the cabinet, um, and who knows where we'll be in two years' time when we have the election as to who will be on the front bench and who will be leading. Has recent political upheaval affected those living in Winchester? I think the government should do better. I've been voting Liberal purely for the fact that I don't like the other two. Say Conservative, but change MP, definitely. I don't think he's done a good job for the city at all. Amidst political instability, it remains to be seen which way Winchester will swing at the next general election. Harry Jewell, Winchester News Online.